Hey, what's up, YouTube fam? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing well today on this beautiful weekend. Without wasting any more of your time, let's go ahead and explore the inner city of Johannesburg CBD. I can already tell that this video is gonna be epic, although I'm a bit nervous, you know, because I'm going inside probably the most dangerous city. So, okay, guys, so this is the place where displaced people, let me put it in that way, you know, they came here after losing their jobs. Some of them have worked in hospitals, clinics. And also, it looks like the city of Johannesburg is not willing to help these people. And this is how our people are living like. It's a sad story though. Although I did want to, you know, interview a few and hear their stories. Unfortunately, they didn't want to. So today, I'm gonna start, you know, by making a shortcut and going through the Gandhi Square. Right in front of us is the Gandhi Square, guys named after Mahatma Gandhi and this side is another monument just showing you the history of this place so I made it into the Gandhi Square let me just show you around and then from here we're taking it further deep into the city so over on the right hand side is basically apartments but these are actually um, bus stops you know people come here and wait for the bus to come and pick them up in the middle of the square they have this beautiful sign here with different languages to how you can refer to Jobek. music in the background there's people having fun today it's a weekend right in front of us guys that's the stage of uh, Mahatma Gandhi when he was still a young man in South Africa actually let me just walk and show you guys this beautiful monument about Mr. Gandhi, so check this out. So there you go, guys. So this building right here in the middle is Carlton Center or the Transnet building. At some point, it used to be the tallest building in Africa. Then I give you those beautiful view from where I just came from right now. There's a lot of nice buildings right over on this side that I just came from compared to where I'm currently going right now. I can officially say that guys, uh, I'm a bit nervous because I'm going probably into the most dangerous place in Johannesburg CBD. This vlog gotta happen guys, no matter what. Right in front of you is High Court of South Africa. This is the one in Johannesburg. And I also like how they did the top with that over there. It makes it unique. I think after the Union buildings, this is second to me. As you can see right behind me how this place looks like. We made it guys into the small street. Uh, there's some shops that are still operating right now. So let me just give you guys how this place looks like on the weekend. So let's go. So here you find the cheapest and lowest price on clothing, shoes, probably everything you can think of, you'll get it here. The prices are very reasonable, you can negotiate. So I'm almost about to exit the small street, I'll give you guys this view as well. I won't lie, the buildings are still in good condition. still have more shops over on the opposite side anyway guys I just wanted to shout out to my American viewers United Kingdom right now we're in the main center of Johannesburg CBD small street I'm walking more towards the you know dangerous side of the city so I hope everything goes well because this looks like it's gonna be a beautiful video because I saw most of you guys like the video of uh, Kempton Square so that's the reason why I decided to come back to Johannesburg I'm not sure about the street name guys, so please forgive me for that. So as you can see guys, the place is very dirty. Papers, plastics everywhere. And there's a huge volume of taxis. There is, uh, you know, private cars, but taxis dominate 
the streets of Johannesburg. It's unfortunate the sun uh, went down. Beautiful in the daylight. The streets of Joburg are very busy, guys. So right now we are at Japan Street. It goes from the west of Johannesburg all the way to the east of Johannesburg. I'm walking towards the MTN taxi rank. That's where it can get a bit tricky and crazy. Also another thing we need Johannesburg, you need to always be alert, look at your surroundings and I think you'll be fine. It's not every day where they just rob someone. It happens once in a while. Some of them are probably inside jobs. So right now I just want to cross the street and show you guys more of the streets of Johannesburg. Check out the buildings. Get crazy over here guys. So while taking this video I need to be very very careful because people are snatching phones as well. The city is very beautiful, like I said, the buildings just need to be maintained and then the economy of the city will probably be the biggest thing that will ever happen to the country of South Africa. I just got insulted by the drivers again. I don't know why people are so afraid of a camera or a phone. At the end of the day, I'm just doing content about my beautiful country. We are in the, the real Johannesburg, as they call it. If you haven't been here, then I don't know which Johannesburg you're talking about because this is the real one. There's insults, you know, there's threats along the way. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that beautiful subscribe button, like the videos, and comment down below. This is it, guys. This is the MTN taxi ring on the opposite side right there. I actually want to go into the MTN taxi ring, but being so many taxi drivers in there, I think I'll probably get beat up or get my phone taken. So I'm not going to risk that today. Effort. I'm just going to go and just take a risk and see what can we see at the MTN taxi ring. So as you can see guys, there's not even space to walk. Literally gotta be squeezed in between people. I made it into the MTN taxi rank. Uh, probably one of the biggest taxi rank in the whole of Gauteng province. Uh, between Pretoria and Johannesburg. This is the biggest taxi rank that I know so far. So let me just show you guys. Check this out. So there's nothing in here besides taxis. Going to different locations. Long distances, short distances, you can name it. It also has uh, an upstairs. Um, it's very dark in here. I'm not sure if you guys can see me, but it's actually not that bad. It's safe. No one is swearing me here, unlike in the streets. So I just hope I continue to not have problems or cause problems for anyone. I just want to head back and go upstairs so I can show you guys the view from, you know, one floor up. This is the view from the stairs that I'm taking right now. I made it upstairs right now. Uh, the view is incredible. Although the place is a bit dirty, but uh, check this out. So for those who don't know Johannesburg or have never been thus far deep into the city, this is how it looks like. I swear to God, for a moment, I felt like this is a different country. In a lot of people, a lot of foreign nationals, documented and undocumented. There is some, you know, buildings that are being uh, under construction right there. It's actually great to see that, you know, there is some improvements made. Anyway, the airport is not really far from the Johannesburg CBD. Probably like, what, 20, 10 minutes. This way here, this is where the taxis come. The ones that are going upstairs. And then we have more taxis this side. So walking downstairs because there's a breeze, I can literally smell all the pee from this taxi rank and it's disgusting guys. It's very very disgusting. So I just made it out of the MTN taxi rank. Right now I'm just walking through this large market of you know cheap stuff. So let's check out how crazy it is. If you're on a low budget, this is a place for you because they sell very cheap clothing at a very less price. 
So the market is basically on both sides of the street. MTN, you can just see it right over there on the far corner. This is the other side of the market, right here. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So the market goes all the way further down there. So let's go ahead and check it out. I mean, just look at how built this place is. It's like these people don't care about the cleanliness of the city. I'm gonna walk out of this mess, try and see what else I can show you because this side is a bit crazy. This is it guys, this is it. After this video, I'm not coming back again in Johannesburg because I think I have conquered the city of Johannesburg just like I did with Sentin. So as you can see, it's starting to get a bit darker. I don't wanna risk, you know, being robbed or my phone being taken. So what's your name? My name is Shah Brother. Where originally are you from? I'm from Pakistan. Okay, so how do you find South Africa since you moved here? Uh, it's a nice. Very nice. nice country. How long have you been in South Africa? Like, no, I'm the, it's five or six years. Five or six years. Yes. Johannesburg compared to Pakistani, what's the difference? There's too much difference, bro. There's too much difference? Yeah. So how can you explain the difference, if you don't difference, mind? Difference, uh, everything is okay. As these are the streets of Johannesburg City. It's crazy how this place looks like this. And there is also, you know, police officers making sure that there is safety. Unfiltered, I'm giving you to you guys very raw unfiltered content of Johannesburg. This side is a bit calm and, you know, not so dirty. So as I was walking, I saw this market. This is another one. Just the street after the... Taxi this one is not as complicated as the other markets. Here, let me just cross and head over to the other side. Reflective vests also being sold here. Backpacks, belts. I think I'm going into the wrong direction, so let me just head back. So I was going in the wrong direction, so I decided to turn back. Then on the left hand side is this beautiful market, you get fresh produce, tomatoes, onions, apples, watermelons, since we're in season. Got spinach as well. It's beautiful. And then one street up, we still have another market here. This is uh, Wandara Street. Just behind this market, there's a taxi ring called Wandara Taxi Ring. So yeah, this side, it's a bit quiet. It's a bit organized. Guys, I can't believe I made it this far. You know, just before starting this vlog, I was a bit anxious and nervous because I didn't know what was gonna happen today. As a YouTuber, you gotta be brave, consistent, it's a general rule in life. You have to take risks for whatever that you want, you know, because if you don't take risks, you'll never get the result that you want. So I'm actually happy that this video was possible. So this one here is the one that has taxi rank. This one deals with long distances. You know, people going to Eastern Cape, uh, Limpopo, KZN as well. I didn't do the whole of uh, the city because of time but I managed to get you guys what I thought was enough you know for the day. It was a beautiful Saturday. Right now I'm just gonna go home take a shower you know because this place is dirty. Take a shower you know and just go out and have fun tonight. This side is a bit cleaner. You know the apartments are also not that bad. And then you have this beautiful building right here. After this vlog, just showed myself that I am very passionate about this, you know, and I'm gonna continue doing this 
making sure that you guys get this beautiful content to you my beautiful subscribers so anyway guys this is where i'm gonna end the video it's been a beautiful video beautiful saturday make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't this is your boy double horse signing out